just trying to demonstrate how the ants can control the, the coffee berry bore here. So this is these little beetles. This is, these are the worst insect pests of coffee around the world. And I'm just putting them out here on the plant to see if I can kind of show you what the ants do when these beetles um, land on the coffee plants. Every summer we come here with a group of students. These are students that are doing research for their thesis, either master's or PhD. My primary research partner is Professor John Barnaby. He's a professor at the University of Michigan, and he also happens to be my husband. You're looking at the uh, lesion from the coffee rust disease. It's a fungal disease that is absolutely devastating to coffee production all throughout Central America. The last two years, we've had uh, really bad epidemics of the coffee rust disease in Central America, and so that there's been, oh, some people estimate a 30 to 40 percent reduction in yield. We're now in, in June, and June is when this disease is first taking off. We're interested in understanding some of the different possible control agents, so we want to know who's eating the coffee rust or who's potentially destroying it. So that's what we're looking at in the microscope, a little fly larva, and we're taking basically time-lapse footage of that to see how much they're eating, things like that. We're in a farm. It's about a hundred year old organic coffee farm. It's in southern Mexico in the mountains. It's a highly productive place, but it's also a very ecologically sound place. We're not just concerned with the coffee rust, we're concerned with the other pathogens and the insects that attack the coffee berries. And so we're concerned with how those things are controlled in a sort of a natural ecological way. And each student has a little piece of it. I know that the lizards eat the coffee berry borer, um, but to what degree is when I'm using the experiments back in the lab to determine. We're replicating pest outbreaks. So um, we typically find one lizard per tree, and if there was an outbreak of this berry borer, we want to know how much of the borer is the lizard eating, and um, by knowing that, it has greater implications for the role of the lizard as biocontrol and the ecosystem services that the lizard is providing to the farm. These days, science it relies so much on downloaded data sets that other people collect and all that. And people hardly ever go to the field and observe. And so I think that one of the, the main component of our research project here is observation. Observe what's happening in nature. 